everybody, what's going on? It's Aaron again. Uh, what I'm going to be showing you today in this Visual Basic tutorial is how to use a tooltip. And what you might be wondering what a tooltip is. If you're not, well, well if you are anyway, a tooltip is, so say if I hover over this button right here, a little dialog box usually pops up to tell the user what they're about to do. Um, so how we're going to be able to do a uh, tooltip in Visual Basic is actually very easy and it requires no code whatsoever. So you don't need to worry about that if you're not a very advanced Visual Basic user. Um, so you can see you're just going to want to go ahead and set up a little uh, form here with maybe a button or something or you can use this on an existing program of yours. So how we're going to add a tooltip actually is we're going to click all Windows forms in the toolbox, scroll down to tooltip, you can see I have this little cross right here, so just click anywhere inside your form as long as it's not on this button. You can see down here in the properties that you have a tooltip now. And if you're, in case you're wondering, you only need one tooltip for your whole program. That's it. Unless, you're, unless you have a different form, which is codenamed for a window. If you have like three different windows, then you're going to need to add a separate tooltip to each one of those to be able to get tooltips on all the controls in that form. So how we're going to do this is now that we added the tooltip into our form, we're going to click on the button or whatever control you have. Scroll down the properties to tooltip on tooltip 1. If you have more than one tooltip, it'll say tooltip on tooltip one, two, three, and so on. So, if uh, to add text here, we're just going to go ahead and type. For example, since my button does nothing, I'll type this button will not anything if you click on it. Try not to put anything misleading there because people don't like that. So now you can see if I go ahead and debug it. Hover over it now, it'll say this button will not do anything if you click on it. You'll see if that's true. That's right, it does nothing. So this tooltip is true and it does work properly. So that's how you use a tooltip on Visual Basic and stay tuned for the next video in the series. So we'll see you guys later.